The government is very unpopular. The government is between 20 and 30 percent of popularity level, depending on the poll that you look at. And uh, so it looks like they're vulnerable. And if the opposition were to take the majority in the National Assembly, it will provide a real shot in the arm for the opposition. David Smiley, a senior fellow at Washington Office in Latin America, a professor of sociology at Tulane University. Um, we're here in Venezuela to legislative elections. Venezuela, which uh, are not just any legislative elections, they're very important elections because they could mark, they, they will mark a turning point. Whatever happens, they're going to mark a turning point uh, tomorrow. This is, this is a government. Uh, Chavismo has controlled every branch of government now for 15 or 16 years. You know? And it's a government that has a certain ideology, an ideology of being a majority, that it represents the majority. You know? And so governing with all the powers of the national government has been a central part of its, its, its repertoire. You know? And so now moving on to, to govern without full control, without control of the legislative branch, one of the most important branches of the government, is, is just uh, unknown terrain. We don't know how the government's going to react. I'm not sure that they know how they're going to react. UNASUR tried to uh, develop a much more robust mission this year that would have many more of the attributes of observation that they could actually go where they wanted, see what they wanted, talk to who they wanted, and, and make whatever declaration they wanted when they wanted. Um, but the Venezuelan government didn't allow that, the CNE didn't allow that. Instead they put forward an accompanied mission that was, was very similar to the previous missions. It's, it's, uh, it's significantly weakened from what UNASUR originally wanted. The, uh, that said, they're here, the people are very uh, technically capable, no, and I think we need to give them the benefit of the doubt. Clearly the opposition is going to gain ground in the National Assembly, very likely they're going to take the majority, so then we're going to have a government that has more pluralism in it. So that would tell you that there's more democratic space, more opening. Now that would be the, the best, you know, sort of most functional outcome, but of course oftentimes in politics, especially in Venezuelan politics, things take take a different course, no? And so any number of things could happen. If, if the opposition were to win a two-thirds majority, uh, they, could, they could call for a recall referendum in January, you know? and if they could push really hard, and Chavismo could push back, and, and that could be really dysfunctional. I mean, the best case scenario for me would be to, to see the opposition win a, a simple majority or a 60% uh, majority, and have them come in and be unified, have them be open to dialogue with the government, and have them just do what legislatures should do. For example, interpolate ministers. They should come in and, you know, if something's not going right with a, a ministry, have the minister come in so that they can question them. There, I would like to see a Congress in which there's actual debate, you know, debate on, on some issues and uh, uh, everybody has their say. You, to a certain degree you have that now, but a lot of what the National Assembly debates now is, is, uh, is declarations, or declarations in support of the government, you know, declarations against uh, you know, foreign interference, things like that. I mean, I like to see them actually debate laws and, and put forward laws. I think that kind of debate could make things more concrete, could make the debate, make the discussion about what has to happen in Venezuela more concrete. And I think that would benefit the government. That would, that would allow them to make some of the changes that many of them within the government know have to happen. <laughs>